spamming it. Got him. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Now often I get questions from people asking, what is the best way to warm up for Counter-Strike? I know a lot of people out there like Deathmatch, Jump Maps, and of course, aimbots. And when I say aimbots, I mean custom maps with bots. Throughout the years, I have tried everything. And for me, the biggest problem with all three of those methods is unrealistic movement. So instead of doing something like that when I want to warm up, I usually hop into Wingman. Now I guess you'd go into scrimmage mode as well, but Wingman's also recently added this new 1v1 arena mode for warm-up. And I hear they're going to be adding it to the regular competitive mode in the future. Now if you're going to use this for warm-up, I recommend you don't use a smurf account. This isn't about bullying lower ranks, but getting yourself in shape. And I also recommend you work on mechanical facets of your game rather than outsmarting your opponent. So what exactly do I mean when I say that? Well, let me show you. I wouldn't guarantee. <laughs> we both have just been playing Valorant and it's so different. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Went out. Howdy bucks. Got him. Nice. Now, as you guys know, Valorant has been the new hot game lately, and we've been playing a lot of it, which is why we need a good quick warm-up before we go into face it, ESEA, or even matchmaking. I suck. Nice shot. Now, as you can see, I'm going to be setting myself up to try to hit make it or break it shots a lot more often in Wingman. Speaking of Valorant, one of the best features about Valorant is being able to sell back your weapons if you buy the wrong thing. You should do. Oh, like I want to sell get back my gun. Just... I didn't mean to do that. One down, Ivy. Nice. One down, Ivy. Ivy. This gun. Just in case you like them, you know. You know what I like about this game? You can get the ghost for free as a counter terrorist. One in mid. One seek on. Yep. Ladder, last one. You sure? I guess you're sure. One on top of the blue train. Nope. Sandwich. Sandwich. I'll drop you though. How about this beautiful weapon? Ooh. Oh, what is that? Is that a phantom? One down Ivy. Nice. Last one T-Con opping with over the scope. Yeah, he's still T-Con opping, he just scoped again. No, he's right. Got him. Now obviously you can see we're using very little utility, we're just trying to outshoot these guys and right now it's going very very well, but we are on the counter-terrorist side of train. Maybe if your sensitivities are the same, then yeah. Out Olaf already. Got him. Ladder. Good job. Got him. One more close. Got him. Insane. He's out. Electro box. Ladder as well. Ladder dead. Back red. Lit. I hit him. I think he's hit through the electro box. Okay. Maybe not. All right. Usually it's not this one sided, but what I like to say is that you want to warm up for about 30 to 45 minutes. Right. Got him. Nope. I'd be clear. We did it. Nice. Go team! And because of that, I suggest you do three wingman games since this wingman game took less than 10 minutes. So really in that first game, I was mostly getting used to just aiming in this game because my sensitivity is so different than it is in Valorant. On this next game, the focus is going to be working on my movement. You know, after the aim arena warm-up that is. There's only one problem. We're starting off on the CT side again, so to work on my movement, I'm going to end up playing a little bit more aggressively than usual. Oops. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we're not gonna talk about that. Don't worry if you look a little bit sloppy at first. As you keep doing it, it's gonna feel more natural. I'm gonna jump in here and scare him. Single door, last one. Good job. Now it's better if you and your teammate both are on the same page that this is just a warm-up and you guys aren't too concerned about wins. If you solo queue and do this, there's a good chance your teammate might report you for griefing. We can call a timeout here. Man, they got such cool nifty features in this game that they don't have in Valorant. Seriously, why can't you call timeout in Valorant? And like a ghost that you can take the silencer off of. I don't know about in Florida, but... It's all about repetition. Get used to your movement and aim mechanics and get used to the other players and how they move. Oh no, they're both tagged up. 44 and like 62. Other guys hurt. Nice. 
All right, I'm gonna do some uh, Penny S training where I run in there with a sniper rifle and die. Trying to- Off flick shot? Yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna try to do. <laughs> Again, the whole point of this is to push yourself to start hitting those shots. If you can hit them here, you should be able to hit them anywhere. Now keep in mind the range at which these fights are happening on this map. Now this map is very close range, whereas Train was very long range. I'm just spamming it. Got him. Kenny S training, I tell you. On Train, it's better for practicing your micro corrections, and this one's better for the big flicks. I'm gonna try to open up the single door. <laughs> nice! Oh my god. I'm gonna die here. Nope! <laughs> Alright, after this I do have to get a uh, sandwich though, so let's try to win this round. And I'll go eat because I'm shaking. Luckily, we've been pretty much full rushing every round anyway, so as long as we can pick up this round, this game should be over in no time. Oh no! Good job! One more sight? Window? Oh. oh, I'm so bad. You got this. Oh. And with that, we had won another game. But we weren't done with our warm-up just yet. Before we knew it, I was back with a sandwich and we were ready to start our next game. Now we kind of messed up and forgot to remove Train, and you can see we end up playing Train once again. For optimal results, I suggest playing three different maps. Do they got their one set down. executes? Never mind. Yes. Dropped it. One right side. He's dead. Nice. I'm gonna push up close, E-Bucks. They got that spray control down, so as long as you kill them in the first two bullets, you're fine. Now I say this because in the 1v1 arena, they were absolutely destroying me. But I'm not exactly known for being a good rifler. He's scoping towards you. Okay. I'm jiggling. He's nice. dead. Good job. Last was ladder, ladder. I'm gonna hit him twice. Nice one more there. Oh, this guy just lagged hard. Above top blue, I think. Oh, he's out. Now, as you guys can see, this group has much better movement than the first two groups we played. This is actually a really good thing in the entire purpose of practicing this way. Good job, Cactus. You're a beast. Ladder one, jiggling me. Oh, ho! that was nice. Rep back red. Hit with scout. You got him. Top red. Dead. dead. Nice. Tcon. With this AWP? With an op. I didn't even see him. He was out, I guess. Mm. Yup, so far these guys are definitely the hardest opponents of the day. Nice. Dead. Last one, Tcon, I think. I'm blind as hell. Dude, I'm so blind. I missed. All that practice, and I still missed an easy shot like that. When something like that happens, just remember that you normally will hit those shots 9 out of 10 times. So you can't let it get to you. Are you buying the scout? I'm buying. Yeah. One tag. Tagged. 87 and 1. I don't even see him. And before we knew it, the first half was over. 5 to 3. I'll smoke sandwich. We can just run across to site. No, let's just go Ivy and shoot him in the head. Alright, so his idea is far more tactically sound, but I just want to work on my aim. Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. We definitely should have gone with his idea. Nice try. Save! So, we go down ladder. One's back red. Sandwich right now. One nice. down. Probably Ivy, but unknown. Yeah, um, back red. Or back bomb, stopper. Oh, back bomb. Shit. I was looking at Ivy. Good job. I'm not gonna lie, that round was incredibly important. Just by doing that, we completely screwed over the other team's money and probably just won this game. So now we should try to play really, really smart just to make sure we win. Ha, I'm just kidding. Let's rush out mid! One bomb train. Heaven, I think. Could be bomb train. Take it. I'm flashing right. He scouted me once. Go towards back. The sandwich. I'm coming out Z right now. 
Nice. One more. Just buy electro box. Good job. Damn, Cactus, you are absolutely insane. I'm gonna go out mid, pick towards connector. Uh, go down ladder. Uh -huh. Good job. I'm coming down ladder. Just gonna smoke and plant. Never mind, there you go. And with that, we had won the game. But more importantly, did this warm-up actually work for us? Well, sadly, it took us about an hour just to queue up one single game in competitive. And we wrecked them so hard that they ended up surrendering. Sadly, like I said, the queue times were absolutely ridiculous, so we decided to go play Valorant. But as you can see from the win record, it looks like the practice is paying off. Whether it's rushing with an MP9 or hitting flick shots with an AWP, I do feel like this practice routine makes me far more consistent than any other prior win I had in the past. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and as always, have a great day.